Good evening. The issue is China sees Taiwan as its territory, and Taiwan considers itself independent, so China perceives Speaker Pelosi's visit as a provocation. Defying warnings from China, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi arrived in Taiwan Tuesday. Let me be clear. The Speaker's visit is totally consistent with our long-standing One China policy. In a Washington Post opinion piece, Speaker Pelosi said the delegation she leads is an unequivocal statement that America stands with Taiwan in the face of what she calls accelerating aggression from China. And Republicans are unusually supportive of her. So I'm about to use four words in a row that I haven't used in this way before. And those four words are, Speaker Pelosi was right. I don't think the Chinese... Uh, to tell members of Congress where they can go. In response, China says it will conduct military exercises with live ammunition in areas surrounding Taiwan. There's no reason for Beijing to turn this visit, uh, uh, which is consistent with longstanding U.S. policy, into some sort of crisis. Chinese officials say the U.S. and Taiwan are working together to provoke China and playing with fire. Meanwhile, the U.S. is also positioning warships near Taiwan amid Speaker Pelosi's visit and the escalating tensions. In Washington, Alexandra Limon.